Good evening, Dr. Phil here. Today we will be discussing on ketamine. Chemistry Ketamine is a cyclohexanone derivative of fencyclidine introduced in 1965. PCP is a veterinary anesthetic agent, also known as angel dust, a drug of abuse. The chemical name is 2-O-chlorophyll-2-methyl-aminocyclohexanone hydrochloride. It is water-soluble. Concentrations available are 10 mg per mil, 50 mg per mil, and 100 mg per mil. It is isotonic, contains sodium chloride. pH is 3.5 to 5.5. pKa is 7.5. It contains preservative benzatonium chloride at 0.1 mg per mil. Avoid use in neurexial anesthesia. It is a racemic mixture of S dextro and R levo enantiomers compared to R levo ketamine. S dextroketamine is 3 to 4 times more potent. A lower dose is needed to induce anesthesia. It has shorter recovery times and fewer psychomimetic reactions. Mechanism of action It is an antagonist at the NMDA receptor at the calcium channel pore. It is a non competitive antagonist at that receptor. It is also an antagonist at the serotinogic, muscarinic, nicotinic and monoaminergic receptors. It is also a partial MOP antagonist. It also inhibits a sodium channel in neuronal tissue. High doses has local anesthetic actions. Ketamine is also an agonist at a few receptors. It is a partial agonist at KOP receptors. Analgesic effect occur after intratical or extradural injection at spinal KOP receptors. It is also a partial agonist at DOP opioid receptors. NMDA receptor or N-methyl D-aspartate receptor is a L-glutamate receptor in the CNS, glutamate being the major excitatory neurotransmitter in the brain. It incorporates a cation channel which ketamine binds. Ketamine also decreases presynaptic glutamate release and opioid effects are not antagonized by naloxone. Pharmacokinetics of ketamine. It is very lipid soluble, weakly protein bound at 12%, bioavailability for intramuscular injection is 93%, oral is 20 to 25%, and nasal is 50%. It is metabolized by the liver by demethylation and hydroxylation. Active metabolites include norketamine, which has one third the potency of ketamine, and dehydronorketamine, which is a weak NMDA antagonist. Further metabolism produces conjugates. Excretion 80% excreted as glucuronides in the urine, 2.5% excreted unchanged. Elimination half-life is 2.5 hours. Pharmacodynamics Effects on the central nervous system it produces dissociative anesthesia, which is a state of catalepsy. The eyes may remain open, but there is no purposeful response to stimuli. Corneal and pupillary reflexes are preserved. The location of the dissociation is between the thalamus, which relays efferents from the RAS, and the cerebral cortex and limbic system. Excitatory effects are initiated at the thalamus and limbic system, and this results in distorted central processing of efferent input at the thalamocortical and limbic levels. Efferent inputs remain unaffected. Ketamine is also an amnesic. It is a potent analgesic at doses much lower than that required to induce anesthesia. The effect on brain damaged patients is less effective. There is increase in cerebral metabolism, cerebral blood flow, and intracranial pressure. There are no effects on the autoregulation of cerebral blood flow. Emergence delirium results in disorientation, restlessness, agitation, and the patient may act aggressively to minor stimuli such as light, sound, and touch. There is dysphoria effects. Hallucinations and vivid nightmares occur up to 24 hours after ketamine injection. It is less common in children and elderly. Measures to attenuate the effects of emergence, delirium, and hallucinations. 
Avoid verbal and tactile stimulation during the recovery period. Benzodiazepines, opioids, physiostigmine and butyrophenones may help. EEG changes, there is loss of alpha rhythm and predominant theta activity. Cardiovascular system. Ketamine is a sympathomimetic and increases circulating catecholamines. The direct effect on myocardium is it is a myocardium depressant. The indirect effect on myocardium includes increase in heart rate by 20%, increase in blood pressure by 25%, there is increase in cardiac output, increase in myocardial oxygen consumption. Positive inotropy is due to increase in calcium influx mediated by cyclic adenosine monophosphate. There is increase in sensitivity to adrenaline. There is decreased sympathetic stimulation to peripheral circulation, resulting in vasodilation in tissues with alpha adrenergic receptors and vessel constriction in vessels with beta adrenergic receptors. It is a respiratory stimulant. Transient apnea may be followed by well maintained ventilation. It is a bronchodilator and there is preservation of laryngeal reflexes and tone in the upper airway. However, this does not always hold true, especially at higher doses, so precautions should be taken. It increases salivation and increase in nausea vomiting occurs due to sympathomimetic actions. Administer anticholinergic to counteract the increased salivation. There is increase in muscle tone and spontaneous movements may be observed. Uterus and placenta. Ketamine crosses the placenta and the fetal concentration equals that of the mother's. The eye, there is increase in intraocular pressure and eye movements persist. The onset and duration of ketamine. The onset for IV administration is consciousness will be lost after 1 to 2 minutes. It takes longer than one arm brain circulation time. But some books state that anesthesia can be induced in 30 to 60 seconds and the patient may continue to move and make incoherent noises. The onset for intramuscular injections is typically 10 to 15 minutes, but it could be as quick as 3 to 4 minutes. The duration of action for IV administration is 10 to 15 minutes. For IM injection is 15 to 25 minutes lasting up to 40 minutes for either route. Amnesia may persist for up to 1 hour after recovery of consciousness. Doses For induction, the IV dose is 1 to 2 mg per kg and the IM dose is 5 to 10 mg per kg. For pseudo-analgesia, ketamine can be given up to 0.5 mg per kg an infusion rate of up to 50 mic per kg per minute. Sacral extra dural block in children, the addition of 0.5 mg per kg with local anesthetic will increase the duration of action of the local anesthetic by up to 4 times. But due to concerns about neurodevelopmental toxicity, avoid use via this route, especially in young children aged 3 or less. The doses for nasal and oral roots is 6 to 10 mg per kg and rectal dose is 10 mg per kg. Those regimens for pain syndromes are varied and complex. For example, patients with CRPS have been treated by infusions of 0.1 to 0.2 mg per kg per hour over 5 days. Unique effects of ketamine includes analgesia, amnesia, dissociative anesthesia rather than general CNS depression and the S dextroisomer has fewer side effects. Clinical uses of ketamine Induction of anesthesia in adults, children, and it is especially useful in the shocked patient. Field anesthesia as a single anesthetic agent outside the hospital. Bronchodilation, especially in severe bronchospasm in bronchial asthma. Pseudoanalgesia during procedures performed under local or regional anesthesia. Ketamine can be used during neuraxial anesthesia, extradurally or intratically. Use preservative-free formulations. 
It can be used as a co-analgesic as well. Perioperative subhypnotic dose, for example, IV 25 mg for the typical adult, and treatment of chronic pain, IV 0.15 to 0.35 mg per kg. Ketamine has antidepressing effects. A single sub-anesthetic dose of ketamine has antidepressant actions, which is immediate and long-lasting. Adverse effects of ketamine includes emergence delirium, nightmares, hallucinations, hypertension, tachycardia, prolonged recovery, salivation, increased intracranial pressure, and allergic reactions. Contraindications for ketamine Absolute contraindications include airway obstruction and raised ICP. Relative contraindication includes cardiovascular disease such as hypertension, ischemic heart disease, and heart failure. Frequent procedures requiring repeated administration of ketamine. This results in prolonged recovery and disturbed sleep and eating patterns. Visceral stimulation. Ketamine suppresses poorly pain originating from visceral stimulation and thus opioid supplementation is necessary. Outpatient anesthesia. Ketamine should not be used because it results in prolonged recovery and emergence side effects. Compared with other induction agents, ketamine has anesthetic, amnesic, and analgesic actions. Ketamine is sympathomimetic. There is increase in catecholamines, cardiac output, and systemic vascular resistance. Ketamine is a respiratory stimulant. There is preservation of laryngeal reflexes and tone of the upper airway. There is bronchodilation, secondary to the antagonization of the effects of acetylcholine and serotonin at the bronchial tree. R. Devoketamine has better anti muscarinic effects than S. Dextroketamine. Ketamine has multiple routes of administration apart from IV, such as rectal, intramuscular, oral, nasal, extradural, and intratecal. Ketamine can be used in patients with porphyria. Ketamine is associated with severe bladder damage when used as a drug of abuse. Urinary ketamine and its metabolites can result in ulcerative cystitis and irreversible fibrosis due to chronic inflammation and may necessitate total cystectomy. These are my references. Thank you.